All right, this is first grade, module four, lesson 24. And in this lesson, students are going to begin moving towards that standard algorithm where they're going to be adding a pair of two digit numbers. Uh, the key on these, though, is the ones digits are always going to be less than 10. So in, in adult language, there is no carrying over. The other thing is we're not quite going to be stacking up our numbers quite yet. We're still going to be using like a non-standard uh, horizontal technique. And the idea of that is we still want to make sure we're emphasizing in our students' minds that number sense. We don't want them to just blindly start following a rule quite yet. So we're getting towards that standard algorithm, getting closer, uh, but we're not quite there yet. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by showing you an example with 13 plus 25. And one of the key things that they're going to be doing in this lesson is while we have a choice of how we decompose 13 and 25, uh, in this lesson they're always going to be decomposing the number in the teens. Whether that teens comes first or comes second, it doesn't matter. But they're always going to decompose the teens. All right, and, uh, but let's start with uh, connecting it to the quick tens, which our students are familiar with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first model 13. So here's 13. Now I'm going to model 25. So there's uh, 10, 20, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what I've done is I've essentially, by drawing these quick tens and ones, I've essentially decomposed 13 into a 10 and three ones. And I've decomposed 25 into two tens and five ones. And the idea is that when we add, what are we doing? Well, we're leaving, let's say we're going to leave that 25 alone. And I'm decomposing the 13 into a 10 and three ones. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take the 10 and I'm going to move it over here. So now I have 35 because I used to have it over here like this. So now I have 35 and now I can move the 3 over. And what do I have? I end up with 38. Okay, so let's kind of take that up backwards planning here. Let's go backwards a little bit. All right, so there is our 25 right here. Here is our 13. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to show that numerically. And while I do that, I'm going to have it reflected over here. So the idea is I'm going to take that 13, and I'm going to decompose it into 10 and 3. All right, so... I'm going to, over here, I'm going to take my 13 and decompose it to 10 and 3. So there are my two separations, my two points. And now, over here, I'm going to start with that 10, and I'm going to add it to the 25. So I'm going to write 10 plus 25, and that equals 35. So what is that going to look like over here? It just means I'm going to take this 10, I'm going to move it over here and get that out of the way. And so now I have 35. So this 35 is this 35. So, so far, I've added this guy to this guy. So now what do I have left over? Well, now I have this 3 left over. So I need to still add in the 3 to the 35. So I'm going to take my 35, and I'm going to add in the remaining 3, and that's going to give me 38. So what is that going to look like over here? Well, I've got my 35 right here, and I'm going to add in the remaining 3, and that gives me 38. So you can see, parents and teachers, how we can go from the quick tens to this more abstract uh, concept. Now, why are we adding the tens first? Why are we adding, essentially, for 13 plus 25, why are we adding 10 plus 20 first? Why are we going left to right when we know that the standard algorithm is right to left? That's a good question. And the real answer is uh, because the most powerful mathematicians 
when they solve math problems mentally, particularly with addition, definitely when with multiplication as well, they actually do mental math left to right. They do add the tens first and then add in the ones. So what we're doing here by teaching this way is we're really training our first graders. We're raising them up to think just like the, um, the way the excellent mathematicians uh, do. Now, the other thing is, if the, that quick tens and the decomposition is a little on the funky side right now for your first graders, I want to call out one idea of using Numicon. So you can use the Numicon pieces, and, and this is the 10, and this is your 3. So it kind of makes uh, decomposition pretty quick, pretty easy. And then Numicon for 25 is going to look like this. Here's 20, because I need two tens, and here's my 5 for 25. And then if we wanted to, you know, we, we're going to take this 13, and we've got our 10 and our 3, and I'm going to decompose 13 by taking it from a number that looks like this, and I'm going to decom <laughs> decompose, and now I'm going to add the 10 to the 25. So what do I have now? Well, now I have 35, but I still have this 3 over here. So now I'm going to take the 3, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to add it right there. And now I have 38. So Numicon is a great tool for demonstrating um, decomposition and showing how things are supposed to fit together um, and add together. Now a cool thing is even if this were to add more than 10, you would be able to see that because your magnitude would be larger than one of these 10 pieces and you would be able to see kind of like the hidden 10 if it went larger than 10. But that's for a future lesson. So let's get going on this. So here they're asking us to solve using number bonds, and we're going to write those, we're going to be explicit about writing the number sentences that are involved. So you can see that we've decomposed the 13 to 10 and 3. We're going to add the 10 and the 16 first to get six, uh, 26, and then we're going to add in the remaining 3, so 26 plus 3 it gives us 29, and there's our answer, and we're solving it essentially adding the tens first, adding the 10 and the 10, and then going with the ones places. And that's exactly what uh, most of the, the most powerful mathematicians of today do. They, they actually mentally math do math left to right rather than right to left. Going over here, let's do it again. We're going to once again decompose. We're always going to decompose the teen number. Uh, so we're going to decompose that 16 to be 10 and 6, and then we're going to do 23 and 10. So 23 plus 10 gives us 33. And now we're going to take that 33 and go down here because we still need to add the 6. So 33 plus 6 gives us 39, and there is our answer. They're kind of taking away some of our scaffolding here. So let's do problem B. All right, so problem B. We are going to start by decomposing that 14 to 10 and 4. And now I'm going to add my 23 and 10, I mean 24 and 10. So I'm going to do 24 plus 10. Now parents and teachers, if your students want to do 10 plus 24, that would be allowed also. The order is not... Um, important because of the commutative property of addition. So 24 plus 10 gives us 34. So I'm going to take that 34 down here. If I was working with first graders right now, I would not have circled this and I would not have drawn that arrow. <laughs> um, but that's the 34. That's this part that we've done so far. And we still have this little 4 sitting out there waiting to be added in. So I'm going to put the 4 right here and 34 plus 4 gives us 38. And that's the idea of how they want us to model this question. I'll do it uh, real quick 
again, oh, let's do this one. This one, I'm noticing that you have a choice of which number you decompose, either the 15 or the 14. It doesn't matter. Here, we're going to want you to decompose the 15, although technically, ultimately, our kiddos are going to be able to decompose either number. But right now, we want to decompose the teen number. So we're going to add that 24 to the 10. So that's going to be 24 plus 10 gives me 34. And now we still have that extra 5 sitting out there. So I'm going to take the 34 that we had just left off with, and we're going to add the extra 5, and that gives us 39. And that wraps up first grade module four, lesson 24 for our parents and teachers. We are adding two digit numbers, but instead of doing that nice kind of neat little thing of, of stacking them up, 23, uh, 23 plus, oh, where am I? I lost my pen, oh, plus 15, and doing it that way, and, and having our little line right here. Instead of doing that traditional way, what we've got our students doing is we've got them thinking of it horizontally, like this, and then decomposing, in this case, we're going to always be de decomposing that teen number.